Greetings! It's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can build your Unity game to the WebGL platform, then upload that WebGL game to itch.io for free. Let's get right into it. So the first step is you need a game that you want to put onto itch.io. I have got a game with two squares that does some debug logs. And the first step is you want to go up to file and then go to build settings. After that, you want to make sure all of the scenes that you want in the build are in the scenes this build section. And if you see scenes that you want to include not there, you can simply drag and drop them from your project view into the scenes in build section. And the scene with an index of zero will be the scene that's loaded when the game starts up. Now the next step is you want to select the WebGL platform down here. And if you haven't installed it, don't worry, I'll show you how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to find WebGL in the platform section and click on it. If it says WebGL is not loaded, you need to click on install with Unity Hub. So click on it. And this will open up for Unity Hub and it will take you directly to the Unity version you're using. So you can then add in the WebGL module. However, if it doesn't do that for some reason, in your Unity Hub, you need to go to Installs, and then you need to locate the Unity version that your project's using. So we're using 2022.3.56 F1, and it's this one here, and as you can see, it doesn't have WebGL. So we'll click on the Settings cog here, and we'll click on Add Modules. And then we can scroll down and click on WebGL Build Support. After that, we can then click on Install. And this can take a moment, depending on your internet speed and your PC. Once you've seen it install, you can then close the Unity Hub and go back into Unity, and you'll notice that the WebGL platform is no longer greyed out. And then you want to click on Switch Platform. Even if it says no WebGL module loaded, don't worry. You need to switch platform before it shows you other stuff. If after switching platform, you're still told that there's no WebGL module, just close your Unity project and reopen it, and then it will pop up. So we're going to leave all of the settings to be their default for now. However, in the future, we'll do another video on what these different settings mean. But you want to click on the build button and you want to build your game. So I'm going to right click and make a new folder. And I'm going to call it builds. And in that builds folder, I'm going to right click, create new and call it amazing game build. And then I'm going to click on select folder and the Unity game is going to start building to WebGL. This can also take a while depending on your PC and how big your game is. Once it's been built, you can close the build settings and then you need to locate where you built the game in the Windows File Explorer. If you did what I did and built it inside your project, you can right click in your assets folder, go to show in Explorer. Then you can just go to your builds folder and find a folder that contains your WebGL game. So the next step is you want to go back to your builds folder or whatever the folder is for your Unity WebGL game and you want to right click, go to new and then you want to make a new zip folder. So this could be WinRAR zip archive or it could be center zip file but whatever lets you put your game in a zip folder and we'll call it game zip amazing. And then you want to go into the folder that contains the files of your game. And this is your WebGL game. And you want to drag and select everything. Then right click. And then click on copy. Then you want to go to your builds folder. And then go to the zip folder that we made before. Open it up. Right click. Click on paste. And now you've zipped up your WebGL game. So the next step is we need to go to itch.io. And when you go to itch.io, in the top right corner, if you already have an account and are logged in, great, you can skip this quick step. 
But if you see um, a login or register button up here, either click on login or click on register, depends on if you have an account or not. And once you do that, you can then click on this drop down arrow up here when you are logged in. And you can click on upload new project. And we need to give our game a name. We'll do amazing game for YouTube. Project URL, it will auto fill, but you can change it if you want to, to do 01 after or whatever you want. You can do a description if you want to. Uh, what are we uploading? I think we're uploading a game. And then for downloadable, you want to make sure it's HTML. Ignore this Unity less than 5.3. We are going to be picking HTML because we've built our game with this format in mind, where we'll be uploading a zip file that contains a HTML file and a WebGL game. So make sure it's HTML. Then for status, uh, you can do whatever you want. I'm, gonna, I'm going to stick on released. Pricing, you can do what you want, but we'll go with no payments for now. The important part here is firstly the uploading. So you want to click on upload files and then you want to navigate to where you have your zip folder and then I can click on open and it will upload the zip file and it says success which is great and then you want to click on the little tick box that says this file will be played in the browser because it's a WebGL game then we can scroll down a bit embed it options you can obviously pick what you want However, I'm going to set the viewport dimensions to be 1280 by 720. Again, you can play about with this. Maybe you want to click to launch in full screen. Maybe you want to auto detect the size if you want to. But I'm going to stick with 720p. Uh, these are frame options. I am going to be ignoring all of these. Uh, we've got some frame options here. I'm going to just leave all of them unticked because we don't need to for the context of this tutorial. And in most cases, you're not going to need to tick any of them. Details, you can add a description if you want to. Genre, you can add in a genre if you want to. We're going to put a uh, puzzle because it's puzzling. What I've made is even a video game. You can disclose if your game has used AI or not. You can give it a custom noun if you want to. Uh, you can disable and enable comments or not. And for visibility, we're going to put it on restricted. And then we're going to click on save and view page. If you want to make it public, you need to save and view page. Then come back to this to make your game public. But as you can see, we've now got the option to run our game. And it's loading it. And as you can see, our amazing Unity WebGL game is now playable on itch.io. And if you want to make this public, you can click on edit game and scroll down to the bottom. And now you'll be able to click on public and then you click save and then anyone can play your game on itch.io. And that's how you upload a Unity game to itch.io using WebGL. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.